2020 is almost over, which I think most of us will agree is a good thing. Thanks to the coronavirus, this has been one of the worst years in recent memory. But with the new vaccine on the way, 2021 is looking a lot better. And there are also a lot of new DC animated films being released in 2021 as well. And this video is going to go over them. Batman Soul of the Dragon The first film to be released is going to be an original story that will see Batman reunite with his former classmates to face an enemy from his past. Now this is actually a fairly familiar story type, where Batman meets up with his old martial arts classmates and they band together. And they usually end up fighting one or more of their former classmates who've now turned evil. Though to be fair, the story's been done a few times because it's quite an entertaining story, so this could be a good film. And it's looking so far like they'll be teaming up to fight the Cobra Cult, so there might not be any old classmates turning evil at all. Unless of course one of the old classmates has joined the cult, but we'll have to wait and see. And this film is also set to feature a brand new voice for Batman, who will be played by David Guentioli. Not quite sure if I'm pronouncing his surname correctly, but apologies if I'm not. Now whether he'll be a new regular for the Batman voice, or whether this is just a one-off, isn't clear yet. But I guess it will depend on how well he does in the role. Though personally I think when it comes to Batman, it should really be voiced by Kevin Conroy. Or at least Troy Baker, who's quickly becoming my new favourite for replacing Kevin Conroy when he retires from doing the Batman voice. But hey, he might do a really good job in the role, again we'll have to wait and see. Now the film is set to be released on the 26th of January in 2021 and it's going to be directed by Sam Liu and executive produced by Bruce Tim. And the film itself will be set in the 70s and it will also feature Lady Shiva and Bronze Tiger. And Bronze Tiger will be played by Michael J. White who played the same role in the TV show Arrow. And since this film already has a trailer out, I'll include a link to it in this video's description. Justice Society World War II now, not much is known about this film, except that it will be released in the spring of 2021. Though going by the title, it will likely feature the older generation of the DC's Justice League, back when they were called the Justice Society. And incidentally, the Justice Society were actually the first team of superheroes in comics. Now, we don't have any plot details as of yet, and we haven't unfortunately got a list of the characters who will feature. But the roster of the Justice Society did include the original Tin Helmet Flash, Dr. Fate, Wildcat, Dr. Midnight, the original Green Lantern, back when his ring was magic and not a space weapon, and many other members could feature. Again, we'll have to wait and see. But this film does look like it could actually be pretty good, as there are some very good Justice Society stories, none of which have really been tapped into in modern media, so they've got a lot of history to draw upon. Batman The Long Halloween Now this is a film that we have all been waiting a long time for, no pun intended. The story ran in the comics for quite a few months, and it was set in Batman's earlier years and featured a series of murders across Gotham City. The murders all took place on major holidays, and the murderer was called the Holiday Killer, or just Holiday. And no, this isn't an origin story for Calendar Man, and Calendar Man isn't the killer. In fact, no one, from the criminals to Batman, could work out who the serial killer was for months. Now, honestly, I think this adaption would have worked better as a limited TV series, as it could run for 12 episodes or so, and having it run over a long time would mirror how long Batman is spending on the case. But a film could still be interesting, and it's set to be a two-part release, which in a way will mirror how long the long Halloween was. So this is actually two films that we're getting. The first part is set to be released in the summer of 2021, and the second film will be released in the fall of 2021. Now, sadly no real details have been released as of yet, Though if you do want to know the plot or what it's about, I suggest you just go and read the comics, because it's a very good and very famous comic, and I can't see them deviating from it too much, because if they do, people are really going to hate them for it. Now as I said, no real details about the film are out, but if Kevin Conroy isn't voicing Batman in this film, I will be supremely disappointed, because he is the perfect choice for this film, and for the type of Batman that needs to feature in it. And lastly, I'm going to mention DC Super Pets. Now, there's talk of DC Super Pets getting their own film, and it has been a lot of talk for quite a while, but they have a soft release date of the 22nd of May, but unfortunately it's not coming out till 2022. But I had to mention it because they've been talking about making this film for a long time, and at one point it was actually set to be released in 2021. So it is possible they'll make the film sooner and it will get released sooner, but that might just be wishful thinking on my part. But in any case, the idea of seeing all the Super Pets being superheroes 
just sounds adorable and I personally think this could actually be a lot of fun. Now there is usually one or more DC Lego films released a year but no release dates have been given and no titles have been given. These are actually usually harder to find than the other animated DC films. The Lego ones generally seem to have less interest and they're aimed at kids as well who I guess aren't supposed to check release dates as much as adults. Or at least that seems to be how film executives seem to think it works. But in any case, there probably will be a LEGO DC film released, but we don't know what it is yet. And that is all the information we currently have on animated films being released in 2021. Though it is also possible CW will release another animated film, as they do seem to release them every now and then. They love making DC products after all. But again, nothing has been announced, and with the corona delays, it could be that any potential productions will be pushed back to a later release date, or just scrapped altogether. We'll have to wait and see. Now personally, I think I'm most excited for the Justice Society film. Although I have always wanted to see a long Halloween adaption for quite a while now, and I am excited for it, it'll be good to see an adaption of the Justice Society, because I've not really seen a story of them in their heyday, and I'm quite interested on seeing all the different characters and their powers because some of the members I'm not really that familiar with, and they do have quite a large roster of superheroes. And let's be honest, we all love watching them all fight together and seeing all their different powers and abilities. So it could be quite a good film. But which of these are you most looking forward to seeing? Be sure to let us know in the comments. And also let me know if you'd like me to do a video on 2021 releases of DC animated TV shows or live action DC shows, as I'm thinking of making one, but I'm not really sure if anyone will be interested. And I'd just like to say a quick thank you to those who made this video possible by donating to the Needle Mouse Productions page on Patreon. And as always, thanks for watching, and feel free to subscribe, share, like, and comment.